Hello everyone, we will continue the topic drop down list in module pool and in the previous video, we finished with the coding part. We used SAP function module VRM underscore set underscore values to bind the region values with the screen field. Now what I will do? Now I will put a breakpoint in PAI of screen 100 and PBO of screen 100. So if there is a gap in the understanding, it will automatically clear in the debugging mode. And after that, yes, in the output, we will face two to three issues. With the help of debugging only, we will identify how to resolve those issues and during drop down yes these are the common challenges and it will help you to resolve those issues also so firstly i will go to pai of screen 100 i will put a breakpoint here now i will go to pbo of screen 100 i will put a breakpoint here and if some gap is there, it will clear in that debugging mode now. I'm running the program. We all know whenever I will run the program, firstly, PBO of screen 100 will call. I'm going for execute in a new window. And you can see PBO of the screen 100 called. This is the logic. We have written in the process before output of screen 100. Now you can see this if condition is failed, failed because we have not given any value of the state as of now. As of now, our screen has not even appeared. So this if condition is false and our logic will not execute. And this is what we want also. If I will go to execute, you can see we got the screen. Now I will choose the value from the drop down for the state. And you all know very well in the videos of drop down, we gave a function code to the state. Yes, whenever we gave the function code, yes. SAP recognized it as a action action and whenever you are going for some action on the screen which event will call PAI process after input suppose I will choose the state Gujarat now you can see PAI of screen 100 called if you will not give the function code PAI will not trigger because SAP will not understand the action now. But is the state Gujarat, GUJ, you all know we gave a three digit code. GUJ stands for Gujarat. So we choose what? GUJ. This input will go to state column of this table. It will fetch the regions and data will come into this internal table. As of now, see, internal table has zero records. If I will show you the table also, this is our table. Suppose if I will give the state as GUJ, if I'm executing, you can see we are able to get two regions, Ahmedabad and Vadodara. If I will execute this query using F6, you can see we have two regions in this internal table. Now I will do F8. You all know whenever I will go for execute, now which event will call PBO of screen 100? Because before displaying the 100 screen, which event will call process before output of screen 100. Now I will do F8 and you can see I'm in PBO of screen 100 and now this if condition is true now 
because we passed the value to the state. And what is the value to the state? Gujarat. So this if condition is true, I will do F6. Now, this internal table has two records. From these two records, we will pass it to this work area one by one. From this work area, we will pass it to another work area. Suppose if I will do F6, if I will show you the work area, LWA underscore data. Now in this work area, we have the region Ahmedabad. The first region is Ahmedabad. Now, if I will show you LWA underscore values work area, I'll, I will write. Now you can see this work area has two columns. Ahmedabad is going to key also. Ahmedabad is going to text also. Now, from this work area, we are filling the internal table. Internal table has zero records as of now. Now we have first record in the internal table. Just see, first record. Now loop will go for the second record. So we are passing the second record to the work area. What is the work area now? Vadodra. We are passing it to LWA values. What is LWA values now? Vadodra. And from this work area, we are filling the internal table. And you can see this internal table has two records now. And now after that, we are simply, simply using the function module vrm underscore set values to bind these two values with this particular screen field. What is our screen field region? If I will go to execute, you can see we are able to see the two values related to this Gujarat state. Suppose, now if I will go for suppose Haryana, I'm choosing Haryana. I performed the action. Yes, when I performed the action, which event called again? PAI called again. Now, what is the state now? Haryana. If I will do F6, you can see now in this internal table, we have the two regions related to Haryana only. Now, whenever I will execute, PBO event will call. It will bind the data with the screen field. If I will simply execute, now you can see this is the main problem which we are facing. Previously, we have chosen the state what? Gujarat. So two Gujarat regions will be what? Ahmedabad, Vadodara. After that, we choose the state Haryana. So which two regions are coming? Ambala and Kurukshetra. So have you seen previously records merged with the new records and customer will not accept this. So in the next video, we will see how to resolve this issue also. And after that, we have further challenges also in the drop down. And it's a common challenges which everyone faced whenever they are going for drop down. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood the full flow in the debugging mode. We put the breakpoint in PBO, in PAI, how, how the data is binding with the screen field region. In the next video, we will learn how to resolve the various issues which we are facing in the drop down. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.